two years after the outbreak of the COVID pandemic, the global economy was on a strong recovery path with a shared commitment to respond to climate change and move towards a more inclusive economic growth model. Unfortunately, the Russian invasion of Ukraine has brought about great human suffering as well as uncertainties, slowing down growth and generating inflationary pressures throughout the world. Multilateral coordination is key to ensure that adequate measures are taken to minimize the negative impact on energy and food supply, as well as financial stability. Also, to ensure that we push ahead and accelerate our decarbonization strategies. Addressing the spike in energy prices is essential if we are to successfully implement the transition towards a more sustainable economy. We need to learn from the lessons of the energy shocks of the 1970s and push our economies away from fossil fuel dependency, accelerating investment in green technologies. But we also need to take care of our citizens while the transition lasts. To do this, we must ensure long-term fiscal sustainability while at the same time supporting the strong investment effort needed from the private and public sector to succeed in the twin green and digital transitions. I'd like to stress the importance of fairness as a core value in the design of economic policies of the future. From the point of view of social inequalities, territorial divergences and also intergenerational fairness. Today, more than ever, we need to make the right investments to provide young people with more and better opportunities. All in all, today's challenging times are a strong reminder to policymakers of the need to remain committed to multilateralism and to get our recovery strategies right, so that we can move towards a more resilient, sustainable and inclusive world. Together.